Hi, welcome to Ambigo's Travel. And here we have ZPH Solar Products Trading, uh, headed by Sir Pids Bautista Abian. So, uh, Kuya Pids has been installing for about three years, and he's originally a financial advisor, but he got really interested in alternative energy. And I met him through one of our guests who actually recommended him, and he's from Ordaneta, Pangasinan. So, Kuya Pids, I'm sure you've done a lot of different kinds of installation. What crazy install are you doing today for the Ambigos Travel? I am going to install it to your uh, RV. Oh, wow. Recreational uh, vehicle. Oh, so you're the bus. So what exactly, can you tell us about the components of a solar system? Uh, we have the solar panel. Okay, these are the solar panels. And how many wattage is this? That is uh, 320 watts. Okay, and then you're installing three of those? Yeah. Today? Uh-huh. And then what are the other components? Uh, the battery. The battery. battery. Wow, this looks really heavy. Yeah, this is very heavy. Oh my it's goodness. 58 kilograms. 58 kilograms. Oh my god, don't hurt your back. Oh, malulos lo si kuya. Malulos los. Oh. Maamay ma maranan makunan. And then what else? We have this uh, solar charge controller. So what, so what exactly is the purpose of a solar charge controller? The uh, solar charge controller converts the... The uh, uh, voltage, DC voltage from uh, the panel, uh -huh. and convert it to 12 volts or 24 volts. Okay. Because if you don't have that, then nothing. It cannot charge your battery. Oh, it cannot charge your battery. Yeah. But can I can I just go directly from the solar panels to uh, my cell phone to charge it or no? You need some no, kind no, of. No, no, no. You need the. Uh, like this. Oh, you Char need that. Solar charge controller. Okay, and that also prevents the battery from being overcharged? Yes. Oh, I this see. It's automatic. Oh, it's automatic. Wow. When so the battery is fully charged, yep. then the solar charge control will not control it. Okay, so on a nice good day, uh, those three panels that are 320, how, how long would you expect them to charge these two 200 amp batteries? Well, Around... Eight to ten. Eight to ten hours? Oh, okay, yeah. It's very bright right now. I'm feeling the heat. And then what's the other component, sir? What is that blue oh, thing I'm looking at here? It's the, let's go, inverter. In, now, what exactly does that do, the inverter? The inverter, we're going to uh, convert the uh, DC power into AC power. I see. So that you can uh, use it to your uh, appliances like a TV. Okay. Uh, Electric fan. Electric fan. So basically, the the inverter will make it like a, uh, a an outlet on the wall, basically in the house. I see. I see. Oh my goodness. So so let's look at this bus over here. Oh my, this is a crazy project. Is this the first time you you've installed on a bus? This is my very first time to do this. Oh my. Okay. I cannot imagine. <laughs> It's my first time. Well, if you want to see the results, guys, uh, please follow us on Beagle's channel. So again, the components of a solar system is the solar panels, and then the batteries. There you go. Those are huge ones. The MPPT controller, or the charge controller, and the inverter, which converts the direct current to, AC. to alternating current. So, thank you very much, Sir Pids. So we'll see the result in a few days but we'll keep loading videos thank you very much guys I'm Beagles travel please like us and subscribe